Inventory files are a great time saver for sellers with large inventories. You can manage your product listings in bulk rather than one by one, as long as you have your inventory in Excel format. Please note that this feature is for professional selling plans only. This video will show you how to use some advanced features of inventory files, such as the delete feed function, the partial update function, and alternate product IDs. We always recommend saving a copy of your inventory files for your records before you upload. Let's take a look at an example light home and garden template to go over some advanced features. If you ever need to delete your products in bulk, you can run a delete feed. This is useful if you are discontinuing seasonal items or no longer offer certain items for sale, input incorrect information during your first go at adding products, hey, we're all human, or want to change a product SKU. To run a delete feed, follow these steps. Type delete into the corresponding update delete column next to the products you would like to delete. If you have other products listed in the file that you are not deleting, be sure all other information, such as price and quantity, is up to date. All information is taken into account and updated in your inventory when you upload your file. Save your file. Upload this file on the Add Products via Upload page in Seller Central. Allow for your file to process before uploading any further files. A quick tip here. In order to change a product SKU, you must first delete the item, then resubmit with the updated SKU. Seems easy enough, right? Let's take it a step further. What if you only want to make a quick change to one or two attributes of your products, but don't want to fill out the entire inventory file? You can use a partial update feed to update single attributes for existing listings in your inventory. To run a partial update feed, follow these steps. Fill out the SKUs you'd like to update in the SKU column. Type partial update in the update delete column. Fill out the attributes you'd like to update. In this example, we want to update the products, prices, and quantities. Save your file. Upload this file on the Add Products via Upload page in Seller Central. Phew, what a time saver. To wrap it up, let's look at a few product ID considerations beyond using a standard product UPC. If you're a brand registered seller, you don't need to provide a product ID. Instead, specify your brand registered name in the brand attribute column. It's important to note that you must enter the name exactly as it was registered. This includes spelling, punctuation, and capitalization. For example, let's say you have the registered brand name Too Legit to Quit. Keep in mind any spaces, capitalization, and spelling when you fill this section out. There we go. You can also match to existing ASINs on Amazon using product ID. You simply enter the ASIN in the product ID column, followed by ASIN in the product ID type column. This can be useful if you'd like to match to existing products in bulk. These advanced inventory file features can be a great time saver for you Amazon sellers with large inventories. Be sure to watch our other in-depth inventory file videos, like how to create product variations, for more tips on listing products in bulk. Mm -hmm.